19 mutations. The FMR, aplasia metabolization, was first described by Jan Berger in 1971, where he described a very large family with 15 females affected with epilepsy and intellectual disabilities. In uh, 1979, Dr. Ryan and Al re-evaluated the family, added uh, further females to, to the description, and linkage studies performed then showed linkage to an area on chromosome XQ22. In the following years, addition to the phenotype was made, uh, among others, by Inga Sheffer and Al, and in, in 2008, uh, Leanne Dippens and colleagues sequenced PTDH19 gene located in XQ22.1 and, and such identified gene mutation in several uh, EFMR families. Uh, so far, we have operated with a typical phenotype, uh, even though we contribute to extension of the phenotype, constantly uh, colleagues contribute to that factor. Psychomotor development normal in the girls until they are 4 to 18 months of age, and very early onset febrile seizures and temperature induced seizures. Later on, development of partial and generalized tonic clonic air febrile seizures from around 6 to 36 months of age, and all seizures are difficult to treat. These first four features are what could lead to uh, a suspicion of Dravet syndrome. But the further development differs from the rest syndrome because now we see clustering of seizures. It can be several seizures one day, then the longest seizure period, or seizures for a few days, a week, a month or so, and then again followed by a seizure-free uh, period. Also, stages of electricus occurs less uh, frequently in ECDH 19 mutations. Often you will see cessation of seizures around the year of 12 and the outcome will be with normal or uh, from normal to severe intellectual disabilities. Uh, a specific feature of mutations in this gene is an obsessive and aggressive behavior and perhaps autistic features. We uh, performed a small study aimed to identify phenotype patients with PCH19 mutation in the Danish Epilepsy Center we are the only tertiary epilepsy centre in Denmark and we accept children and adults from all over Denmark with difficult to diagnose and difficult to treat epilepsy. So we had uh, a group of 18 unrelated females with a wide spectrum of epilepsy who were set before the age of 20 months and we screened them for mutation in PCH19. 15 of the 18 females had previously been tested negative for mutations or rearrangements <coughs> in SCN1A suspected diagnosis because of the features I told you before. One third of our girls uh, had a mutation in PCH19, all located in the extracellular portion of the protein. We identified them in two sporadic and four familiar cases. In total, in the families, we identified 12 affected females, three unaffected females, and three unaffected males. This is uh, our family, and uh, they, the familiar cases all contributed to uh, the phenotype uh, in family one. This girl had a late onset, she was six years old when she had a period with autonomic seizures. We have here in this family, it's ESA, we haven't been able to talk to this part of the family directly, but this girl has got depressions as well as her seizures. In this family, we have very severe autism in these two young girls. This one has still uh, retention of her uh, primary teeth in the age of 16 years. <coughs> and here in this family, we had a quite remarkable onset with uh, almost a fire, fires like uh, a phenotype with functional deafness and loss of vision. I forgot to say, in this family here, we also have uh, catatonic states, almost Parkinson-like, in several episodes. So, when we uh, evaluate 
back at the phenotypes, we found that seizure onset in our group ranged from six months to six years of age. And the predominant clinical features were clusters of seizures and aggressive behavior with marked variability. The seizures as such were previously uh, described, but in addition we had one girl with autonomic seizures, and I haven't seen that described earlier. Affected females had normal development prior to seizure onset, but more than 70% of our girls had neurocognitive and or psychiatric problems at two to three years of age. The psychiatric problems included severe autism with severe self-injurious behavior, a period with functional loss of hearing and vision, a catatonic Parkinson-like state in one affected relative, and actually also Alzheimer's disease in another female carrier. As I said, retention of permanent teeth, uh, you know, retention of primary teeth when she was 16 years old, one of the girls. Because of the deliberation on whether or not you could uh, describe a distinct phenotype in, in the, the carriers, we uh, designed a questionnaire comprising general questions on education, on behavior, medical analysis. We used the ADHD RS questionnaire to adults. Uh, all these were based on self report. The autism spectrum quotient, uh, designed by Simon Baron Cohen, was used, an anxiety scale, and Yale's uh, scale for uh, evaluating obsessive uh, compulsive behavior. It was a small sample. We, we admit to that. We sent the questionnaires to nine carriers, two males and seven females. Four of the males, four of the females were affected with mild epilepsy in early childhood, and I have response from five carriers from three different families. If you look at the educational uh, circumstances, they all went to public school, and none of them had the need of uh, special education. Three of them went on to higher school, high school, uh, and is educated as a legal secretary, a bachelor of art, and a child caretaker. And two of the five had basic training as shop assistant, and, and one had a work of child education. Uh, attachment to work. Uh, presently, one uh, mother uh, was uh, employed. I have really no work because of affected children. Actually, she's employed as a full time caretaker of the children. One had part time work because of the affected child, and three of the five had full time occupation. Regarding their epilepsy, three of the five had had epilepsy, one from five months of age to five years of age, age and then what we could find in the old files were the description of atonic seizures. We had one with uh, general atonic clonic seizures and partial seizures from three to six years of age, and the, the girl with the autonomic seizures from six years of age had, again, when she was 29, perhaps a, a cerebral thrombosis during pregnancy, um, there was a discussion whether or not it could be shown on the MRI, and later remark scans has uh, not been conclusive. But nevertheless, she has developed genital tonic-clonic seizures and is currently in medical treatment. It has been mentioned that, uh, yes, we know that the affected children have this aggressive behavior, uh, and it has been mentioned that perhaps the carriers also should have more or less aggressive behavior. Based on self-report, uh, two of the five who responded said that they felt that they had a hefty temper and one of the five said that she had heard that other uh, friends and families described her as having quite a uh, good temper. Anxiety was thrown into the rare category. Two of the five had slight attention uh, when, when uh, evaluated based on the ADHD the screening scheme. And two of the five had, I would say, obsessive compulsive behavior. They didn't qualify for a diagnosis. And they were both unaffected carriers, one male and one female. And they had mutual obsessions in controlling and magic numbers and symmetry and hygiene and clothes. What makes this uh, less of a statement is that it was father and daughter. So the conclusion in this is that BCPH19 mutations are a relatively frequent cause of idiopathic early onset epilepsy in Danish females. And here we extend the phenotype of EFMR to include the later onset, six years of age, the autonomous seizures, 
and psychiatric problems, severe autism and self-interest behavior, a functional loss of hearing and vision, a catatonic Parkinson-like state and Alzheimer's disease, and this retention of the primary teeth. So if we take ourselves the liberty to come with some rec recommendations, we will say that PCDH19 should be screened in females with early onset epilepsy negative for SCN1 A mutation, there is the females that have very early onset febrile seizures, very early onset febrile seizures. The liberate in PCDH19 uh, in females with onset of epilepsy before the age of six years are over present clusters of seizures, aggression with or without intellectual disability, and perhaps it should be screened also in females with early onset epilepsy and severe autism and or psychiatric. Problems. This was a collaboration between the colleagues in Australia, Leanne Dibbins, Martha Bailey, and Ingo Schaeffer, and in Denmark, the patient and families, Rebecca Müller, Karen Olofsson, Marina Nikana, Robert P. Jebsen, all from the Danish Epilepsy Center.